Hello, you day me. I am Shahzad Ahmed from Shakzi.com and uh, welcome in lecture number 23. Today so we are going to create our delete mechanism for our products. Uh, in the last lecture you learned how can you reuse your code and uh, you also learn how can you uh, insert your products and how can you manage your product for suppose i am saying uh, that iphone i'm going to uh, which is the apple company and now uh, the category is iphone and i'm choosing this and now add button so we have successfully added a product so we have created uh, our section and now it's it's showing all our uh, products sorry you have to change the heading as well so it's my mistake so i'm going to change i'm saying that these products okay refresh so all the products we have just in, inserted a single product so now i'm going to delete this item means uh, which we have just added our products i want to delete this first of all how can you perform the delete operations uh, using your ajax or in simple words you are jq with your jquery if you remember when i was working on categories uh, i have created um, the delete mechanism of the category so you can see we have phones category we have another category category which is the computer whenever uh, oh, just a second images so we have phone and image we have two images you can see we have this image in the computer category so whenever you want to delete this category from the database it's your duty that you have to delete this image also from the directory so you can see we have also deleted the image from the directory okay so now you can see you are going to create the same delete functionality which is related with your categories so first of all here is the first solution you can uh, you can add your data id you can add your data text okay so means each and everything uh, you can create from the scratch for suppose uh, you are uh, adding the data id and data text and now it's your duty to call whenever someone hit this button uh, so it's your duty to create the entire jquery and uh, ajax uh, sections here and now it's your duty to pass the data from your uh, jquery file to your php file and it's it's your duty to uh, validate those items and it's your duty to delete the data from the database and, uh, and also from the category so first of all if you are creating from the scratch so if you are creating from the scratch it's totally depend upon you but you have to reduce your time by reusing your code you have already a delete functionality so why you are creating the same functionality from the scratch you can just use the code which you are using inside the category section okay so uh, inspect element you can see you are passing the id in the data id attribute and you are encrypting that id and uh, you are sending uh, you are adding the data text attribute as well and you have a class named delete so whenever someone hit this uh, button you are calling this class in your admin custom.js file you can see you are receiving whenever someone hit this button you are receiving the two attributes which you are setting in the category sections you are calling the ajax and now uh, you have done a lot of uh, things here so why you are creating the same functionality from the scratch i am just going to reuse my code how can i do that 
I am saying in this time, I am saying this is product. First of all, we have this functionality from uh, the JavaScript. Now I am copying this and I am pasting this code here. I am saying whenever someone hit this button, just fetch this data ID and data text. So here is data ID and data text. I am calling the Ajax and I am sending these two data to my admin controller and the this method. So what you need, you need you go to your method. So this is your method. Copy this method. Go uh, just paste this method here. So rename this method in this time you are saying you are going to delete a product so this is product copy this bad boy paste this bad boy here so you have renamed your method so you are sending the data from the jquery and now you are receiving the data in your method before receiving you are checking the this is the ajax request or not and before checking the ajax request you are checking if the admin is logged in so uh, these are the previous things okay so now in this time you are sending the id this is not a category id this is the product id so that's why i'm saying this is pid pid means product id so you can copy this paste this here 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 and here and also here okay make sure you are reusing your code now before deleting your data from the database you need your uh, image name uh, which you have stored inside your uh, directory first of all you are open your model you, you are fetching the image name by calling this method copy this method paste this method here in this time i am saying get product just change your table name and in this time i am saying this is pid just a second In this time I'm saying this is the PID just a second I'm saying this is the product table and where the PID equals to you are sending the PID and now you are receiving the PID here also and you can see now you are fetching the PDP so this is the PDP column okay so you are fetching the image here and now you are checking if the image is exist you are receiving the data from the database okay just change your column name also here because you are fetching as a result so you can see here is the result array why i am uh, doing this because <laughs> I consider that you have the basic knowledge of coding Igniter 3. So that's why I'm not telling you that uh, what is the result array. Okay. You are storing the image name inside your variable. Now, what you are doing? We are deleting the category. Okay. Just rename this method. Because now we are working on product, not, not category. Okay. I'm saying product. First of all, copy this method, go to your model, find this method here, copy this method and now change your method. In this time, I am saying delete product, go to your model, delete product, you are sending the product ID. So this is the product ID, this is the product ID and now this is the PID, PID means product ID. So this is your 
products table so as you can see you have your products table where is the PID so this is the primary key so that's why you are saying that oh delete this product where the PID is this okay so now you are checking uh, that you have successfully um, deleted the item from the database or not okay so now change this directory also because this is the products directory and now you are going to delete the product from the products folder so go to your assets images you can see you have your products folder and now you can see you are checking if the file is exist delete this file and you are um, showing um, you are sending the successful message and you are echoing the JSON so these are uh, just change the product product and okay everything is working fine now go to your product refresh the page and also go to your product folder so you have your product folder here so uh, we have added uh, a product we have only a single product here just hit this button so you can see you are showing the message successfully deleted now go to your folder you can see you have successfully deleted the record from the folder which is uh, your image and you have successfully deleted a row from your product table as well so now go to your product create new product i'm saying this is dummy and i'm saying computer so i'm saying uh, okay this is the category is phone and now i'm just adding this add product you can now go to your product you have a single product so you have a single file and uh, if you want to see your database you can see you have your you have added a single product and this is the dp means uh, this is the image name what is the image name download underscore one dot jpeg so go to your folder you can see you have download underscore one jpeg image so now hit this button go to your database check so you have deleted your record now go to your folder you you have also deleted your record so it's totally depend upon you how you are coding and uh, what is your coding style <laughs> before creating each and everything from the scratch it's your duty to uh, verify that uh, the same code which you are going to create is already exist or not inside your project so if you have the same code just go to your uh, that code just uh, reuse it and uh, you can reduce your time by reusing your first your code so that's why i'm reusing your code so first of all it's totally depend upon you so i think this is enough for today thank you for watching